Okay, back again for another Caudill Family Podcast. Where are we, Addie? John chapter 5. Eli. Thank you, Eli. It wasn't your turn. Where are we, Addie? John chapter 5. Where are we, Lainey? John chapter 5. Where are we, Phoebe? Yes, you enjoy those peas. Where are we, Ash? John chapter 5. All right. Hey. So, Elaine, I want you to read John chapter 5, verses 18 through 24. Mm-hmm. Eli, the reason why you don't get to say it because you just said it. You interrupted Addie's turn, which means you took your turn first. So remember, it's like they're supposed to go first. You go last. Remember that song? You, you tell them you go first. I'll go last. That's what that's what I'm talking about. All right. All right. Uh, verses 18 through 24. Okay. This is why all Jews are seeking all all the more to kill him because not only was he breaking the Sabbath, but he was even calling God his own father, making himself equal with God. So Jesus said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of his own accord, but only what he sees the Father doing. For whatever the Father does, the Son does not does, does likewise. For the Father loves the Son, and shows him all the all that he, he himself is doing in greater works than these he will show him so you may marvel. For as the father raises the dead and gives the son life so he so also the son gives life to whom he will the Father judges no one, but given all judgment to the Son. All that may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Father does not like, does not honor or the Father who sent him. Next verse. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in my Lord, Whoever believes in my, whoever believes him, hold on. Whoever hears my word. Whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me, who's, who, who has, sent he, me, has eternal life. Has eternal life. He does not come to judgment, but has passed from death to life. All right. Okay, do we remember what happened last week? Okay, a couple weeks ago, Jesus did what? A miracle. What was the miracle? Eli, what was the miracle? Oh. There was, what What was it? He, he saved someone from dying. No, that, that not, not, it, it was something else. Oh, I need you know? What he, feed, he feeds 5,000. No, we haven't gotten that point yet. Oh, what? He does the He helps the woman out. Ooh, he, uh. <laughs> but. Make up your mind what you want to say, honey. I know. So, there's this guy who couldn't walk. That's right. Thank you. Keep going. Tell yeah. me more. And he, and he asked Jesus, I mean, I mean, he wanted to go to the pool. So he asked Jesus for help, and Jesus said, "Get up and walk." And he took his mat. He picked up his mat and walked. Wow, you remember that? Cool. What happened after he picked up his mat? What day of the week was it? What day? Saturday. Yeah, but what did they call the Sunday? What did they call Sabbath back then? I just said. I just said the answer. Silly me. What was it called, Elaine? Sabbath. The Sabbath. Silly me. All right, so. Is it was it okay to work on the Sabbath? No. No, according to uh, the Jewish uh, traditions, uh, they said that you're not allowed to do anything. I mean, there's there's certain things you could do, but they were very strict. What, Adeline? Could they do cart cartwheels back then? Probably not. Um, so, um, verse eighteen talks about the Jews wanting to kill Jesus. And Lane, why do you think they wanted to kill Jesus? Because he was doing miracles. Yeah. And he was working on the Sabbath day. Yeah. 
and working on the Sabbath meant what? If he, if Jesus thought he could work on sa- on the Sabbath, what did that mean? That means that he, he broke, broke that, that holy. He broke the law. They thought he was breaking the law, but who did Jesus says says was also working with him? God. So if those two are allowed to work on the Sabbath, what is that? What is Jesus saying about himself? He is God. He's God. So Jesus said his father was working and he is working. This is him saying, I'm equal with God. He's calling God his father. You might think, well, what's the big deal? Aren't we all God's children? Is it true? Are we all God's children? No. No, we're not all God's children. Only people that are God's children are the ones who have believed in Jesus. And not everyone believes in Jesus. Did you know that? Like Phoebe, not yet. Well, Phoebe's a baby. We're not going to hold that against her just yet, okay? But everyone that does not believe in Jesus, that's able to, is is not a child of God. Because Jesus said the only way to get to the Father is through him. So it is true. If we're born again, we are God's children. But that would not have been possible if Jesus had not come. Anyone who does not belong to Jesus is not a child of God. The big deal for the Jews was something else. The fact that Jesus called God his Father means that he and God share what? Love. No. They do share love, but that's not the answer. What? Power. Yeah, they're 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 equal in power, right? And like, um, I they're, think they're of the same stuff. Like, would you say we're gods? No, no, we're not. We don't have the essence of God. We don't have. We're made in the image of God, but that's that's a picture. An image is just a picture. The real deal is God Himself. Jesus is God Himself. Is is the real deal? There's the Father and there's the Son. So, and then also the Holy Spirit. They're of the same nature. Therefore, Jesus, when he said he and his father are working, it offended them because Jesus was claiming to be God. What, Addie? Um, like, um, I think someone told me that God is like the, God is Jesus. Yeah, Jesus is God. God the Father is God. And then the Holy Spirit is God. What, Laney? Good. How'd that go? She, she, she didn't even know about Jesus. Okay. Well, you need to keep talking to her then and keep sharing what you're learning about Jesus with her. Okay. So Jesus has already backed, um, you know, Jesus already backed up his power in healing the man who was paralyzed by performing a miracle on the Sabbath. He heals because he is the Lord of the Sabbath. He is the Lord of the Sabbath because he is God. He's there in the beginning when he created the world. And rested on that seventh day. That was Jesus that was doing that. What, Lainey? Did the Jews believe in Jesus? No. Not right away. And not all of them. Okay? The Jewish, the Jews that are probably talking to him right now probably never believed in him. So, um, but a lot did end up believing. Like, his disciples were all Jews. So, like, Peter and Mark and Peter and Matthew and Luke and um, uh, John and... Thomas Thomas, and... Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Yeah. Mark Mark wasn't one of the original 12, though. He came along later. What, Eli? Somebody in my school is named Luke. Yeah? Yeah. Luke's a popular name, but it it comes from the Bible. All right. So Jesus said to them in verse 19, The Son can do nothing of his own accord, but only what he sees the Father doing. For whatever the Father does, the Son does likewise. So Jesus talks about his relationship with the Father... Um, in telling those listening that he and the Father are doing what? They have the same... Stuff. Same stuff? What do you think, Lane? Um, they're doing everything that... They're like being copiers? They have the same mission. They have the same mission. Jesus is doing only what the Father is doing, and the Father likewise is doing only what the Son is doing. It's the perfect partnership, the perfect bond, so on. They're working together for a common goal. For us, it's the greatest goal. What is God and Je- What is God the Father and God the Son trying to do right now? In this story, why? What's going on? Work. They're working to do what though? To help what? other people. Help them with what? With walking. No, no. I mean, yes. There's miracles that they're doing, but what's the what's the big thing they're trying to do? 
Help people believe. Help people, exactly. Help people believe. Believe in what? Jesus. That's right. Believing in Jesus. <laughs> Believing in his words. Turning to him. Repenting of your sin and turning to Jesus because he's good is what the work is doing. It's the greatest goal because Jesus came to seek and save sinners so that we could go to heaven to be with God. Verse 20 says, The Father loves the Son and shows him all that he's doing, and greater works than these will he show him so that you may marvel. So, God the Father intimately loves Jesus the Son. They have no secrets between each other. God the Father shares all that he wants to accomplish with the Son, and the Son will display that to those who see him. The Jews and the people of that time are about to see God do amazing things, and they already have. What amazing things have already happened, Eli? Uh, uh, they did miracles. Which miracles? We talked about one. Well, actually, Laney said a couple of them. Walk. Made that man walk again? Huh? What else? He turned water into... Wine. Yep, yeah, he did that. Um, what, Laney? He that hasn't happened yet where we're at in our study, but yes, he feeds uh, thousands of people. Um, so, yeah, a lot of things are happening right now. People are being healed, the hungry will be fed, the raging seas will be calmed, and many will see and believe. But many will see and want more, but they still won't believe. Can you believe that? It's unbelievable. I know, Phoebe. It, it, it just doesn't make any sense, does it? How all those miracles can happen and no one will still, the people will they still not believe. They, yeah, they won't believe in those, but some of the people that, like, know that Jesus is real, they know that it's going to happen. Yeah, and they believe. They believe, yep. Verse 21, it says, For as the Father raises the dead and gives them life. The Father raises the dead and gives them life, so also the Son gives life to whom he will. So, what is that talking about, Addie? Raises the dead and gives them life. What does it mean to be raised from the dead? It means that you get, you get like, alive from the dead. You come Jesus, back to... Jesus. Jesus. You come back to... You come back you come, to Jesus. You come back to... Uh, life. Life. Yes, you come back to life. God is going to bring the dead back to life. And who did it start with? Jesus. 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 Now... Someone did get raised from the dead, but Jesus himself raised that person up. They didn't do it to themselves. John. They, no, it was uh, the man Lazarus. You guys, have you guys heard that story of Lazarus yet? Yes. Yeah. He had two sisters, Mary and Martha. No, no Big Rock? No, I didn't. I hmm? did not Big hear Rock? before. Like he was, like he got put in the Big Rock when he was dead. That's right. They put him in a tomb, which was probably made of and rock. And like it yep. was hard to, he knew, someone knew that Jesus was coming, that yep. he was coming All right, back. well, let's not get sidetracked because that's part of, that's later on in the story. But Jesus, he's going to die and come back to life. And through him coming back to life is how we come back to life. That This is when we're born again. You know, remember we talked in John chapter three about being born again? <coughs> Thank you, Addie. Next time, cover your mouth, please. Born again means you are given a new life. All right, so obviously being born again means you're coming back to life in a spiritual sense, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, okay. So we were spiritually dead, and um, Jesus brings us back to life. That's our spiritually life. That's yeah. right. If you believe in Jesus, he brings you back to life spiritually. What, lady? So, like, if I... Um the life you're living right now is just a short life, but you'll always live forever. You will live forever. This is your, um, this is your, like, this is your... The bodies will die, it's like your lucky but your spirit day. will live forever. It's yes. like your lucky day. So, and when we're born again, we not only come back to life physically, but Jesus brings us back to life spiritually. And that is what brings us back to God, the life that Jesus gives. Questions on that? Okay, what, Addie? Um, why, like, why did Jesus die for our sins? Because he loved us and he wanted us to be with him, but because of our sin, we could not be with him. So in order for the sin to go away, he had to take the sin on himself because he was the only perfect person that God would allow into his presence. You understand? Yeah. Okay. 
It says in verse 22, the father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the son. So this is another verse that shows that Jesus is God because only God can truly judge others. And that judgment has been given by the father to the son. So the big thing to consider here is, you know, what's going on right now. We have seen Jesus talk about love and about judgment, right? What's judgment, Eli? What's judgment, Lainey? Something like you, um, something like you want, I mean you like, and something that you don't like. No. You, what is judgment, Addy? Something that, like, someone's judging you. To what, do yeah, yeah, what does judging mean? It means someone wants you to do something that you didn't pick to do. Like, um, they, they say which one's the best. <coughs> okay, if, if you get in trouble, if you break the law, and you go to court... What's going to happen? The judge. The judge is going to do what? <coughs> Throw you in jail. You're condemned. You're guilty. You're going to be imprisoned. So you guys are on the right track. But there's two things you're going to... One of, you guys are going to either face one of two things in the future. God's love or God's judgment. What one do you want? Love. Love. Why? Because judging isn't good, right? Mm-hmm. We don't want to be judged. We want to be loved. Yeah. So I want God's love. I want to be with God in heaven forever. But you can only pick one. You can only pick one. You want to be with God. He's like, those who don't love God will only receive his judgment. That is living without God's love and experiencing his wrath. It's constant pain and suffering. It's eternal loneliness. That is the judgment to come for those who reject God's love. And that love can only be given through Jesus. Questions? No. All right. Verse 23, it says that all may honor the son just as they honor the father. Whoever does not honor the son does not honor the father who sent him. So, Phoebe, that's a very good yawn. Yes, you did a good job yawning. Very good. Yes. Okay. So, whoever... um, Where was I? I lost my spot. So remember Jesus said that God was his father? That means that they're... It means they're... One plus one. Two. Two. Three. The word is equals. They're equal. They're equal. They're the same. They are one. They're both God. The Jews to this day... Remember, Elaine, you asked... Do the Jews believe? Yes. Or maybe it was Addie no, that asked. No, it was me. It was okay. The Jews asked, um, or you asked if the Jews believed in God. Some did, but there's the huge group of Jews that are still around today do not acknowledge Jesus as God. The Muslims, people who practice the religion of Islam, do not acknowledge Jesus as God. They say he was a great teacher. A lot of people even say that Jesus never existed. Like he never was. He wasn't a real person. Some people actually say that. So a lot of people do not honor him. They say they only believe in the Father. But Jesus right here says, if you have no honor for him, you have no honor for the Father. It's the same thing in our family. If you only honor daddy and not mommy, you have no honor or respect for either of us because me and mommy are one. You you disobey one, you're disobeying both of us, right? It's the same way with God. If you dishonor Jesus, you're dishonoring God. What, Addie? Um, this is what my teacher told us. What'd your teacher say? Um, if we talk and if more people talk and someone just sitting down being good, the the ones that the one sitting down is gonna sink too. Oh, so if if one person messes up, it messes up everybody. Okay, I don't think that's quite what we're talking about, but I think you get you're, you're on the same, you're somewhat on the same page. Um, so Jesus deserves the same honor as the Father. You cannot belittle him because without him you cannot know the Father. Any questions on that part? No. Okay. All right. Last verse. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. This is, listen to me, this is very important for you guys to understand. And those of you who are listening, 
It's very important you understand, you cannot have eternal life with God the Father unless you believe in God the Son. Without Jesus, you will only experience judgment. Without Jesus, you will only experience wrath. Those who believe in Jesus will pass from death to life. They'll be resurrected physically and spiritually. They will be with God forever and experience his love for all times. What will you do with Jesus? Will you believe in him? Will you honor him? Will you give him your life? Honor him. I hope so. I hope so. All, all hey, Phoebe's raising her hand. Awesome. <laughs> She's looking at me like, what? You talking to me? So, all right, here's some things to remember. Is there any questions on that yeah, verse? No. Jesus and the Father are equal. What does that mean? They're what does that the mean? Same. They're the same, which means Jesus is what? God. He's God. Good job, Eli. If you dishonor Jesus, you dishonor the Father. Also, if you dishonor the people that God places in your life, that is also a dishonor to him. One of the Ten Commandments says, Honor your father and your mother. Very good, Eli. Very good, Elaine. What, Adeline? Honor your, huh? your mother, honor your father. Okay, they said that. You didn't have to say it again. So, But the people, God has placed you with a mommy and daddy to take care of you. So you need to honor them and respect them. You hear me? That's That also goes for your teachers, for your leaders, for your bosses. All those things. You hear me? And you guys need to be kind to each other. Respect each other. God has placed these people in your life. You don't dishonor them. You honor them. You respect them. The only way to see the Father is to believe in Jesus. That means Jesus is what? The only way to what? Person. He's the only way to what? Walk. He's the only one. That can do He's the only one in to get us into heaven, right? That's right. Mommy so here's, here's what we need to do. We need to pray. Listen, we need to pray to God to help us honor him properly by obeying Jesus. We need to pray that God would give us the courage to tell others about Jesus. Right, Lainey? You said your friend that you told about Jesus Pray that God gives you more courage to tell others about Jesus and then pray that they would turn from their sin and believe. All right, who's praying? Me. Me. Who prayed last time? Uh, it was you, Addie? I think. All right, Eli, you can pray then. Dear Lord, this podcast takes good in this food and everybody has a great day and we have this great podcast. And mommy listened, and Addy and Daddy and me and Lainey and Jesus name, and we and we get another new house and we grow up. Jesus name, Amen. Dear Lord, thank you for that prayer and help us to do all those things that we need to do to honor you and to tell others about you. In Jesus name, Amen. Oh, so